Okay, some question your approach to this issue and that you had this press conference, you talked about some of what you think is questionable with Netflix even before talking to them. And in the press conference you said, we will be speaking to Netflix on Wednesday. Was there an approach perhaps to call Netflix aside and say, look, you're launching in Kenya and in many other countries in Africa, uh, South Africa, you know, as well to be specific, but we have issues with this, but that you went to the media first before actually speaking to Netflix. Yvonne, why do I get the sense that we are giving two... We are, we, we, are, we, are, we are giving an important issue, uh, uh, very trivial approach. And let me w say why I'm uh, putting it that way. We are dealing with moral values and what they portend for the national security going forward. I told you this issue was brought to us by people who are complaining. Besides the journalists, I mentioned their parents who are complaining. And people, when you go online, to, because you have to be a parent or my, uh, uh, an adult to mm -hmm. be able to purchase, uh, to subscribe to the services of Netflix, first of all. So, so, so to that extent, it's not as worrying as the, the, the ordinary uh, movies that you just go and watch or the, 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 the TV station. However, when you go and purchase that movie, Yvonne, as a parent, your decision is informed by the rating in that movie. So if it is rated 13 and you buy it and you subscribe for your kids and you allow them to watch, they are exposed. In fact, I saw one of them where they're giving even various, you know, uh, series, eh? uh, uh, variations of the same movie with lesbians and so all manner of evil. And they, they, because it's American content, that's allowed. But in Kenya, it's not conforming to our ratings. I have no problem with that, but my specific question was the approach that you used. Did you speak to Netflix first we have written, before going to the we media? We have written to them. When did that we happen? Before or after your press conference? Uh, no, it started, uh, you know, we have had uh, two press conferences. So it started before uh, uh, the last conference that was addressed by the chairman. All right, let's talk about, um, because uh, the Cabinet Secretary for ICT, Musheru, mm -hmm. and the Communications Authority have both told you that you're overstepping your mandate with this specific one, that you cannot control what happens on the internet, mm -hmm. and that even the CS Musheru is quoted in media as saying, leave Netflix alone for now. Now, you claim that you work in collaboration with the uh, Communications Authority of Kenya and the Ministry of ICT, and they're both telling you to lay off Netflix for now. Well, we have had conversations. In fact, uh, on Friday, we had an event uh, at Serena uh, with the Minister for ICT and, uh, you know, the ICT fraternity. And we all spoke from the same uh, page. We read from the same page. I think there's a, there's, there's a tendency for the media to blow it out of proportion to make the story juicy. And I think if you see what the CS is saying and what we are saying, we are speaking about the same thing. The CS is addressing the business ICT concerns of uh, Netflix. Okay, and in terms of business, we are speaking the same language. About ratings and morality, it's our business. And we are saying, let us have a conversation where Netflix ratings can conform to our ratings here in Kenya. And I think there's nothing wrong with having that conversation. C.S. says Netflix is not subject to local broadcast regulations. Lay off for now. Uh, That's very specific. Yes. Anything so wrong with that? No, no, I'm just asking you. So are you going to continue? Wrong. No, no, nothing wrong with it. I'm just asking. If he's saying that it is not subject to local broadcast regulations Absolutely. and you want to do that, it almost seems like you're speaking at a tangent from uh, each other. First are of all, understand how we operate. Uh, we are not asking for uh, Netflix to submit movie by movie. I've seen that some people writing okay. that. Because normally the way we classify, we get movie by movie and we, we watch every episode. So how are you going to when do that with Netflix? When it comes to Netflix, it's a policy issue, okay? They have maturity ratings that apply to other jurisdictions. We are only saying, is it possible to have a policy issue that reflects on the content that is suitable for Africa? But wouldn't you have to go through level? the specific no, content? No, you don't So have what to. are you saying, a blanket uh, statement that if it's rated... It the is PG there for Singapore, it's there for UK, okay. it is there for other jurisdictions. All right, so I'm yeah? asking, yeah. if you were to say that anything that comes from America that's rated PG-13, that by African standards it should be rated, what, adults only? Is that going to be a general thing you're going to impose for Netflix? Normally, when they're looking at uh, maturity ratings for various jurisdictions, there are cultural and moral issues they look at. First of all, it is them who come up with that. But I also believe even within ourselves, uh, you, you, using our own uh, solutions and our own regulatory frameworks, it's possible to uh, give suggestions as to what we think is right. And I think this conversation should go on. It's an important conversation. It touches on our morals and our future. And I think, like I told you, if we do not 
then take action now. We will regret later. I would rather take action now and avoid a situation where the next president will be uh, weeping on TV because of uncontrollable violence that our kids will be exposed to. Okay? So we are taking a step now to preempt an, uh, an eventuality that obviously will take place if we do not take action. All right. Back to my specific question, what do you intend to do with the, uh, with the content that comes out of Netflix? Because, and like you say, you probably wouldn't have the capacity to take a look at the hours and hours and hours of footage that comes in from Netflix. So are you proposing a sort of blanket reclassification of it? Or, you know, how is that going to work specifically? Yvonne, with, with tremendous respect, this is the way it works. I hope you get it now that we are asking for a policy on maturity ratings. It is there for other jurisdictions, okay, covers so many. In fact, in the UK, it was blocked first. Uh, they entered into negotiations. It is there in France. It is there in Singapore. It has covered many other jurisdictions in the world. It's a policy issue where they give maturity ratings that conform to the geographical area. But look, Netflix has just started streaming here, okay? We raised this issue as a matter of, you know, first of all, welcoming them, but saying then as you come, as we consume these OTP, OTT services, is it possible for us to have some conversation to ensure that our kids will not be exposed to violent content or to inappropriate content? Okay. And I think that, that I, I, let me emphasize, uh -huh. it's a conversation we must have. Failure to which then we will be regretting and we'll be having a situation that will be out of hand. All right. Um, I want to talk a little bit about um, the law that governs the work that you do. Yes. Um, and specifically, a couple of years ago, Nation Media Group went to court over this same matter, over mm -hmm. the Film and Stage Play yes, Act, yes, yes. Um, when there were... Um, recommendations that came then from the Minister for Information, Transport and Communication. Yes. And they were essentially um, the same thing that you're trying to do now in terms of saying, you know, there's these ads that are running and the content on media. Um, and uh, the court ruled and said a declaration that the order by the then Minister for Information, Transport and Communications um, is null and void and of no legal effect and that it does not satisfy the principle of legality that is set out in the Constitution saying that it is not necessary or justifiable in a democratic society such as Kenya. Okay. So we've been down this road before in 2001-2002. Mm. Yeah. A court ruled that this in effect um, went against the freedom of expression and freedom to access of information. Okay. But you're still in imposing the same thing that was tried in 2001, 2002, yeah. and the court ruled on that matter. I'd just like your so comment So are we dealing that. with the law of 2001 or uh, it Tika, is still the same. Well, it's still it's the, the same film and stage act. Have been that, done. Yeah, yeah. New laws have come into place. Our act has also been given more powers through even the uh, programming code. But let me say this. That was then. That was then. Uh, after the uh, new constitution, and the laws that came to operationalize the new constitution were being given power under Kika 46 i to impose age restrictions. And as we speak, Yvonne, Nation Media Group have submitted all their films for NTV and QTV to us for classification. 30 hours per day of content as we speak. So I'll be coming for KTN next. All right. Uh, I'll be right. descending here. So if you're saying <laughs> they're the ones who went to court, they're the first to comply. I think that's the way to go. That's okay. It's not necessarily about them being the first that went to court, but it's yeah. about the judge's verdict that came out so of So why that. do you think they have submitted? As we speak now, I have 30 hours of content right. per day okay. from NTV and QTV. Specifically, the judge's ruling. No, it doesn't matter. Not about whether NTV or, or, events, or any like other I wants to. Yeah. is 2013. Okay, but the Film and Stage Act is the same. Uh, well, it has been amended. 2012 it was amended. Uh -huh. I mean, I'd, we, are even going to, uh, we, are, we are now going through the process of amendment. But did you see the programming code that was released by mm -hmm. CA uh, Communications Authority? Yes. Section 3 talks about Film Classification Board. And it says no content shall be shown by way of film or broadcast content on TV without our ratings. So which one, is, uh, which one comes first? Do we go to 2001? You know, 2001, we didn't even have the new constitution. We gave ourselves a new constitution that preserved the freedom of the media and freedom of expression. But it also meant a tendon regulatory uh, framework to ensure that while enjoying those freedoms, we balance them with the responsibility. And there is a good reason why regulatory bodies like KFCB exist to ensure that what is shown on TV, especially during, during the watershed period, mm -hmm. is 
good for family viewing. Right. I think that's what we are doing. Okay, but the kicker section 461.2 yes. does not expand your mandate to take a look at uh, what's in broadcast. One. Kika Info, let me read that for you. Where A, any cinematograph film has been submitted under any law for classification okay. or censorship and approved for exhibition, where approval of the film for exhibition has been denied or has been given subject to excisions, no broad broadcaster shall in the case of any film, um, you know, do such that has been approved or has been denied. In so that how do respect. you understand that? I'm asking your interpretation. No, it means we have been given the mandate. Did Abu read 46 I? Uh huh. Yeah. In the case of any film in respect of which such approval has been denied, broadcast the film or any part thereof. But what I'm saying is, does it cover broadcast and content and ads and the number of times they run Absolutely. Um, You know, within a news broadcast, for it example, does. which it is does. something that you're trying to talk about? It does. For 6i deals with the uh, age restrictions for film and broadcast content, and that's what we do. Okay. It, it doesn't say that. broadcast content, it just talks about film. Well, uh, like I told you, these laws operate in consonant. Uh, there is, uh, they, 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 it speaks to the general principles and the programming code. That's the reason why there is a programming code. It came after the law to give life and operationalization to the but law. that programming code is still six months. It's still in consultation, isn't it? Yes, but that law, yeah. has not, that law is in place, okay? We are implementing that law. That's fine. I'm, I'm just using the programming code to tell you that that law speaks about what we do. Okay. okay? But the programming code is not in effect yet. There's still a bit of consultations that's happening even within with religious the, organizations. The law is in place. Why, why do you think a nation brought their content for us to, to, to classify? Let me ask that's you another a question. That's question I think we would ask the nation why media do you group. Think, why do you think the adverts that we banned and uh, the, 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 the media ran editorials that we have no mandate, exactly what you, the way you're arguing, mm -hmm. why do you think serious organizations, companies like Kenyan Breweries are not running those adverts? Why do you think so? There is a law in place, Yvonne. So can we give it the, 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 the serious that it, it deserves, rather than looking like we are questioning eh, the existence of a law that is in place, and instead say how we are going to do it to ensure that we don't affect business? Because I think that's more crucial. Okay, let's talk about um, morality in the country. And I mean, you've, you've mentioned morality and national security and indeed um, what that... I think a lot of Kenyans want to know, what is that um, criterion? Because morality is something um, that many people have different interpretations of. And I'll tell you uh, one thing is even if you say, okay, let's take a look at Netflix. And there's many people even on social media who are saying a lot of these banned films, for example, The Wolf of Wall Street was banned yeah, in 50 Kenya. Fifty Shades of Grey. Fifty Shades of Grey was yeah. banned in Kenya. But mm. you are aware that very many Kenyans went online and were able to download the movie and watch it anyway. In effect saying, well, yes, the ban is there mm. and that's great. It won't be shown on the big screen. But people will still have access to that's, this content. That's a if it is the mentality. I reject that kind of thinking. 